As many of our clients will testify, badges can be found in the strangest of places. In many cases, developers are not prepared for the impact of finding badges on their site can have or the implications that will ensue. This video will give viewers an insight into the techniques and methods used for badge mitigation and the various processes that are undertaken to deliver such requirements on site. Today we are working on a brownfield site in Nottinghamshire which has been approved for a new community development. Following ecological surveys, the site was identified as having a resident badger population containing a main set, a subsidiary set and two single entrance outline sets. Any such mitigation would have to be undertaken under a natural England licence. In this particular case, this would require the closure of the three sets previously mentioned and also the construction of artificial badger set as compensatory habitat for the loss of the habitat on site. The new set is being created in an adjacent area of high habitat value. Sites have to be assessed individually to ensure the highest chance of a successful outcome. The new set location was identified in a semi-mature woodland plantation away from potential public disturbance. Trees along the access corridor and over the intended set area were lifted and placed to one side. The set area was then excavated to give an exposed area of approximately 3 metres by 7 metres. The new set involved the creation of five nesting chambers and additional junction or subsidiary chambers with a total of six entrances. The internal tunnel structure of the artificial set was created using twin wall culvert piping. This piping had a quarter section cut out of it, so creating a horseshoe type profile. This enabled the open portion of the piping to be placed on the base of the pad area for the set to give a natural feel and profile to the tunnels. The chambers themselves were created using timber pegs to form the sides of the chamber and then lidded off with three quarter inch marine ply and waterproofing membrane. Following the construction of the set, a shallow layer of soil is backfilled in and around the chambers and tunnels. Once a level of soil has been returned over the set area, a layer of concrete reinforcing weld mesh is placed on top of the soil to create a protective barrier from further disturbance. Following this mesh being installed, the remainder of the soils and reinstatement can be finished off. Once the artificial set is completed, the set closure program can get underway. This requires the fitting of specially designed badger gates, which can be set in both one-way and two-way. In addition to this, the ground apron surrounding the sets would then have to be netted as well to prevent dig back from around the edges of the gates. In this instance, it has been decided that a perimeter exclusion fence should be employed in conjunction with the gates and ground netting to the set entrances. On many of the schemes that we work on, trees need to be removed in order to facilitate construction. And these trees need to be checked for bats prior to removal. Bat inspections are becoming a common requirement this video aims to share what innovative techniques Three Shires has for inspecting bats safely and efficiently. It is important that those carrying out climbing surveys have the right qualifications. All climbers must have the MPTC training they need to climb trees and carrying out bat inspections requires bat training. Upon arrival to site, the Ecological Clerk of Works will brief climbers on which trees have bat potential and require inspection. Not only must climbers be qualified, but their rigging must be safe. All equipment must be LOLA tested, and that includes ropes and harnesses. Upon reaching the cavities that are to be expected, our climber then finds anchor and secures himself in position. External visual inspections are important. However, to get a clearer picture, our climber uses an endoscope to take a better look inside of the cavity and fully inspect it. There are several types of endoscope that can be used in these inspections, but Three Shines only uses those endoscopes that can share the imagery with the ecologist. 
by simply downloading an app to your mobile or tablet, the ecologist is able to view what the climb have used down the endoscope. On some sites, it's not simply a case of inspecting one or two trees. Sometimes there are dozens of trees that require removal, all with bat potential. This speeds the operation and makes it a lot more seamless. The ecological clerk of works can quickly instruct the climber as to what is to be done and whether they can move on to the next cavity. On some trees and in some circumstances, it's quicker and safer to use a mobile lifting platform. This is also an option. For more information about climbing bat inspections, visit our website at www.3shines.com or call 01664 treble 4604.